Okay, hello pilots. This is Elliot Flourish coming to you with another video with the Practical Pilot Series. And right now we're over San Francisco. We're going to be doing maneuvers at about 2,500 feet in our favorite little practice area here. Here are the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, Angel Island, all that kind of thing. Trying to give you, give you all a little bit of scenery here. And what we're going to do today are some of the more unusual maneuvers. We did normal maneuvers last week, stall, slow flight, steep turns. If you guys have seen that, we're just building upon that and starting to move into some of the more unusual maneuvers that uh, we practice in the Cirrus. And what we'll start with is underspeed protection. So you guys can see just how the GFC 700 responds to an underspeed condition. And what we'll do is we'll reduce the power down to an unsustainable power setting where the airspeed is going to start bleeding off and we'll get some of the warnings of an impending stall. And we'll pretend as if we did not notice those warnings and we allow it to progress to the point where the avionics kick in and the autopilot starts to try to correct the situation. Garmin's worked uh, very well with Cirrus and vice versa to try to minimize the chance for accidents and fatalities in, in airplanes. Uh, and they've done a really nice job with this new package with the autopilot. So with underspeed protection, this only works when the autopilot's engaged and the air data computer is fully operable because the air data computer is presenting the airspeed and the airspeed is being used as one of the inputs for the autopilot so that it knows when to recover from this underspeed condition. So here we've tried to uh, tried to hold 2,500 feet with a power setting that's well below what's required to maintain steady cruise flight. And you'll see the airspeed start to decay. We'll further accelerate this this stall entry by going ahead and putting it into a little bit of a climb here. Put the power even further back. Air we do speed. have some class Bravo airspace above us, so we want to make sure we don't get up too high. But you can see what's happened here. The autopilot has gotten to a minimum airspeed of about stall. 80 knots. Stall. You hear the stall warning stall. horn. You see stall. under speed protection is now stall. active. Stall. And this has gone stall. white. It Stall. used to be green. Stall. It's still trying to achieve Stall. a thousand foot per minute, Stall. but it's clearly unable, Stall. and we're actually Stall. receiving a net Stall. 400 foot per minute descent. Stall. So Stall. we'll go ahead and add the power back Stall. in, which would be a suitable Stall. response for this. Stall. And ideally, you disconnect the autopilot, lower the nose, and get back to normal flight here. Okay, make sure we're accompanying with some right rudder there. I will go back up to 2,500. Now we're going to demonstrate the next thing, which is enhanced stability protection or electronic stability protection. You see these two little marks here at the 45 degree point. If we exceed 45 degrees of bank, what you'll find is that the servos will kick in, even though we're not coupled right now. Because ESP is currently engaged, if we hit that 45 degree mark, you'll see it swiftly uprights the airplane to about 25 degrees of bank. And that both catches the attention of the pilot and pulls you out of the unusual attitude pretty swiftly. So that would have been a great one for people such as uh, JFK Jr. and many of the other pilots that have unfortunately died due to that unusual attitude entry of the graveyard spiral. So Garmin's done a really nice job with Cirrus of um, preventing that from occurring any further. And other things that Garmin's done is overspeed protection. We're not going to demonstrate that today, but uh, when you're autopilot coupled, it'll keep you from exceeding your uh, VNE speed. As you approach 190 knots or so, it starts to uh, pitch the nose up out of the dive. And then there's also hypoxia protection when you're up in the flight levels above 18,000 feet. The 
system will kick in and cause a descent to avoid a hypoxia situation. And it sends a lot of alerts before that takes place, but for further information, you can contact me and uh, I can show you a video of that one as well. Okay, until next time, just fly safe, over and out.